Hi, everybody. I'm Jennifer Tryon. Thank you so much for tuning in tonight. We are going to say hello to the Stitch Regulator. This is a very exciting development. Janome has uh, developed a little fleet of new machines that either are going to come with or have the optional uh, stitch regulator. And that's this little guy right here that is going to do wonders for keeping your stitches all the same length. So no matter how fast or slow you are moving your fabric in your machine when you're free motion quilting, you are going to have the accuracy of an accurate stitch length, no matter how fast you're moving. Let me just say hello to everyone who's tuned in tonight. Thank you so much for watching. Hi, Karen. Hi, Kathy. Hey, everybody. Um, definitely uh, leave me a little message where you are tuning in from tonight. I see Karen and Glen Burnie. We've got Kathy here in Kingston. Let me know where in the world you are tuning in uh, tonight because we love to say hello to you and know where everyone uh, is coming to us from. Um, I've got a couple of quilt uh, sandwiches here, a few little test blocks and just some scrap um, quilt sandwiches that, you know, I don't know why I have like random quilt blocks just lying around, just ready for moments like this. Lucky. Um, so I am going to do some free motion quilting tonight. And uh, oh, they're watching from Wakefield, Quebec, watching from Oshawa. Hi, Donna. Um, and where else are we? Beautiful Toronto, uh, Regine Savoy, bonjour. She's from uh, New Liskard. Thank you for tuning in. And we've got Dominique from Laval, Quebec. Hello, bonsoir, ça va bien? Uh, we're so glad you're here. Hi, Carolyn. Hi, Sylvie. Uh, there's Michael Smith from Janome. Thank you so much for being on here as well. I know you have talked at great length um, about the ASR, which is the acronym for accurate stitch regulator. So when we're talking about the stitch regulator, it's really called the accurate stitch regulator. And we're going to quickly show you um, just on a graphic here, the new M8 machine that was just launched. Um, there's going to be a new M6 and an M8 machine that are going to be available in October. And the M8 machine is going to have the stitch regulator. So um, that's very, very cool. Um, very big development. Um, Janome just had, um, they brought together all of Canada's top dealers. And guess what? We were one. We were one of them. And so thank you guys for that because it means you guys are um, – helping, you know, you guys are getting lots of great machines and we're helping you get great machines. And because we can do that, that means we, they brought the top dealers in Canada together and they gave us special pricing on pre-orders of the M8 that we can, of course, pass along to you. Well, I don't know if other dealers are going to pass it on or if they're just going to keep all the money for themselves. Who knows? No, everyone's going to pass on great savings if you pre-order. So we've got Amanda standing by um, off camera. Of course, we'd love it for you to come in uh, to our homemade shop in Kingston, and you can give the stitch regulator a try. Uh, everyone's saying, glad to help. <laughs> um, you can give the stitch regulator a try um, because we you can totally test it. We will have demo machines in store. And is the pre-order, we've already got questions, is the pre-order for Canada only? Yes, for us it's for Canada only, um, but we can put you in touch with um, a dealer in the U.S. because Homemade does have a relationship with um, some dealers in the U.S. that we can help you order through um, to get good pricing too. So there's a handful of machines that we're allowed to just straight up sell you into the U.S., um, and then there's um, like the brand new machines. We will put you in touch with the dealer that we um, that works with homemade closely that helps us ship out our machines to people in the U.S. So, um, yes, if you're interested in anything like that, you can just send us uh, an email or come in the shop and we're happy to let you give it a try. But I also really wanted to di dive a little deeper into um, the accurate stitch regulator tonight because some people will be going, huh? What, what even is that? And do I even need that? And 
what I would tell you is if you're going to free motion quilt, which means quilt your own quilts or free motion design on your bags, or if you want to do thread painting, for example, and you want your stitches to be as accurate as possible, you can see I've got a little bit of meandering here. Right now, I've got the regular presser, the regular um, free motion foot on the machine. Looks like this. Um, and this is the one that you will um, be able to use on virtually any machine. And if you're free motioning, you're starting your machine and you're probably setting your machine maybe on the fastest stitch length. And if you're just meandering around, trying not to have your stitches cross. And what happens is everything is based on how quickly or slowly you move your fabric. So if I suddenly go like this, you'll see, I'm just gonna scissor off here and you can look. Based on how slow or fast I was moving, now this is a hot mess, I'm totally wrecking this block, but I'm. <laughs> but get, don't get me wrong. Um, this is, um, just for demo purposes to use the dark thread on this, but I just feel so sad for this lovely quilt block that I'm just, anyway, I'll, I'll deal with that later. Um, anyway, you can see when we get as close as we possibly can here, we've got tiny, tiny, tiny little stitches because I'm going very fast, or sorry, very slow, but the needle's going very fast. And then when I did that little jolt up, like I whoosh, um, the stitches got much larger over here and everything looks a little inconsistent. What the stitch regulator is going to do is no matter how fast or slow you're moving, it's gonna stop and start the speed of the needle with your speed. It's like sort of magic. Actually, it has to do with this laser that's right underneath the foot. That's where it all kind of happens. So. Let's get it all attached and we'll show you the difference with the stitch regulator on. Will the M8 fit the extension table for the M7? Yes, it's the same footprint as the M7. Um, same feet, so if you have any extra accessories, you're gonna be able to use that with the M8. Um, and it will come with this stitch regulator. And this is how you are going to install it. You don't have to keep it on all the time. So I'm just going to take off my regular free motion foot. Okay, set it aside. And I'll just show you. You've got some options when it comes to the stitch regulator. And I guess I should also say that if the M8 is, you know, not in your budget or you don't need that much throat space, but you'd still like the um, stitch regulator, there's also another new set of machines that uh, Janome has come out with. We can show you the 9480. That's the machine um, on the left-hand side there. It's going to have the optional stitch regulator. So it doesn't come with it, but maybe we might throw it in for you. <laughs> we'll see how, if you're pre-ordering. Um, that machine there, it's a lower price point. You still have um, 11 and a half inches of throat space instead of 13 and a half inches of throat space. Um, I think that's right, I'm off the top of my head here. Um, beautiful new machine and um, you can put the stitch regulator on that machine as well. So you've got the M8 for a stitch regulator and the new uh, 9480 also. Uh, for the stitch regulator. Missy is asking, how is the, oh, 11 inches of throat space. Michael's reminding me. Yes. Thank you, Michael. 11 inches of throat space. I, I couldn't, 13 and a half for this, not half for the other. Yeah. So 11 inches of throat space. Thank you. Missy's asking, how is the needle threader different? So the needle threader on the M8 and the M7 um, is like you push it down goes in. All needle threaders, honestly, are a little finicky, I gotta be honest. The M17 is the one that has the zzz, 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 automatic needle threader. 
Okay, let's get this hooked onto the machine because we've got uh, a couple different options. Um, the ASR comes with four different feet that you can put on it. The regular free motion foot, that's this one here. Uh, the open toe, which is open so you can kind of see a little bit more of what you're doing. I like using this one if I'm doing free motion applique or I'm trying to like really know exactly where my free motion stitches are going. It just opens it up. You've also got, oh, remind me what this one's called again, the glide. Is it the glide foot? Um, I can always forget that. Michael probably will tell me if he's on here still. Um, you can slide it on if you're doing free motion and you don't want your edges getting caught. So for example, if I was on like this and you were bringing your um, work right over to the side and you wanted it to come up over the edge of what you were doing, um, this the clear, I think it's the glide, clear view, clear view. Thank you, Michael. Oh, I should just, you just jump on here. Someone send Michael a link so he can come on with us. <laughs> No pressure, Michael, but if you're up for it, we always love having you. Um, and then you also have the ruler foot coming with the ruler foot. And they all just slide interchangeably just on and off. So let's just, we'll just go with the regular, um, the regular foot right now, um, sliding that one on. And then I'll do some ruler work in a few minutes because it really is very cool that it's coming with the ruler foot because so much of free motion quilting is made better when you use rulers. So it's nice to have that option built in. So here's how it works. There's this little laser underneath uh, the foot and then the foot itself is going to plug into this little trap door uh, on the back of your machine. This is how it's gonna work with the new machines. And then you just attach it like you would the shank to your machine. So I'm just loosening that screw and then just tightening it with my finger and then I'll bring my screwdriver over to really tighten it up. And so you can kind of see this is, this is why you can't just add this to the current M7. Um, it's because it's built into the actual machine. And so it, it's easy to take out and just put away, but you do need to plug it in that back part and attach it through to the machine. Now, I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of um, free motion quilting again. But on my machine, I do need to choose um, and let the machine know that I am using the ASR. So it knows to read and stop and start the machine. So just give me one sec and I'll get that going. So I've got ASR on there now. It's recognizing the foot. So we're all good. And when I start, it now doesn't, oh, it's same. Remember the right, proper, no problem. It does that one stitch so that I can bring that bottom thread up and I'm just going to hold on. And so what's going to happen now is as I move the fabric, no matter how slow or fast, it's keeping up. Oh gosh, that looks so good. Sorry. It literally doesn't matter how slow or fast I go. The machine is regulating itself and making all of the stitches the size that I've chosen them to be. So you can see how I'm slowing down here. Now look at, I'm barely moving. It's barely moving. I haven't pressed stop. And now let's go again. There we go. All those stitches are still the same size. I'm gonna slow right down. It's still making the stitches the same size. So now when you're just meandering around like this, it's kind of no big deal. When you're doing ruler work or trying to do a design, follow your chalk marks, that's when it really becomes much more difficult to um, 
make sure your stitches are all looking the same and, and maintain your speed. So let's just come up and we'll look at the difference. See if we can get up close here and take a look. So everywhere I've stitched here, you can see here the stitches got much, much larger. Here, even when I stopped, this was me just stopping and moving. The stitches are all that 2.4. Now I could have make it, made it a little larger, made it a little shorter. Um, I'm going to go up to like a three now and kind of keep the stitches a little bit larger. Maybe you can see. Let's, let's go one more time. Press our foot down. It's going to give me that first stitch. And then I'm going to press start again. And it's only going slow because I haven't moved anything yet. I got to move so it, it can get going too. And so this time my stitch is a little bit larger, a little more pronounced. I kind of like that, you know, when you're quilting and you can really see the stitches. And you can see the slower I go, the slower it goes. The faster I go, the faster it goes. And then you need to press stop or stop with your foot pedal um, for it to stop. And I'm just pressing the scissors and off I come. Really being able to have the machine know what speed you're going is how it tells the needle how big or small to make the stitch. Let's try doing it now with the ruler. How are we doing there, Amanda? Everybody's good? good. All right. So, yay. Well, that's my mom. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, mom. <laughs> I, I don't want anyone to think we're too biased around here. <laughs> We've got our own mothers out there really pumping it up. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Thanks, mom. Can always count on your mom, right? All right. So I'm going to just go ahead and slide on the um, ruler um, attachment. And they just click right into place. Super easy to, to slide it on there. And if you have any of the Janome rulers, there's, you know, kits you can get. I just pulled my, oh, I should have a little mat under here so you guys can see it. I'll just put this quilt block. Maybe you can see it. No, nope. hold on. Let me just get a mat from over here so you guys can see the clear uh, rulers. Yeah, that'd, that'd help, eh? That's a little bit better. And how can I, hmm, what's good? Nope, that's not helping. I guess when you're trying to show clear things, it's kind of hard. Dark blue, you can kind of see it? All right, well, this is as good as we've got it. Um, maybe it's, no, I think I have to hold it in the light. Anyway, this one makes the heart, obviously. Um, you, it doesn't matter what ruler you're using. I've just got the little sticky things on the back. Um, if you've got a couple of rulers at home in your stash, you're going to see that they fit perfectly. Even the ones that are tiny, like the little clamshell, fits perfectly in that ruler foot. Let's just get it going with the actual. So if we were to take the ruler, stick it down in here, there's some lines on the ruler. So let's just try to be as accurate as I can be. If I'm lining up that line, press her foot down, see how it that fits just perfectly in there. And so when I'm moving the machine now, or sorry, moving the uh, ruler along with my quilt, that foot is going to perfectly glide uh, right along with it. All right, let's get set up and, and try a little bit of ruler work with the stitch regulator on there. And here's the thing, you know, part of what I said today was, do you need the stitch regulator? Honestly, do we need any of this? <laughs> <laughs> you know, when you have like big time craft hobbies, the line between need and want is, is quite blurry. I just broke the thread. Hold on. I'm going to rethread it. 
Um, yeah. But if you want to free motion quilt and you want that accuracy in terms of how your stitches look side by side, if you kind of look, if you free motion quilted before and it just looks all over the place, then yeah, you need it. Then that that's that's somebody who would benefit and get the fun out of having the stitch regulator for sure. If you never free motion quilt and you never intend to, well then no, you don't you don't need it. <laughs> You're fine. You, you'll you'll be able to keep living and even keep sewing. Um, but that accuracy when the stitches are right beside each other when you're free motion quilting that's who needs this if you want to be able to do your own quilts not have to always send them out um if you want to do ruler work um more accurately that then this is perfect for you for sure and it doesn't have to always it doesn't have to be the giant m7 machine um that new uh, 9480 machine is also compatible with the new stitch regulator. So that's very cool. All right, here we go. And remember, I need to move. So I'm running that foot along my ruler. And no matter how fast or slow I'm going, it's keeping up with me. So I'm no whiz on rulers here, but when I move my thread that I stitched over, all of these stitches look exactly the same size, which is nice considering it took me a little bit to get up over that one hump. It took me a little maneuvering because I'm not super smooth with the ruler. I'm not like whipping them out like, you know, I'm taking my time and really trying my best, okay? But that's what's kind of great about the stitch regulator is that even for like a sausage fingered buffoon <laughs> trying to do free motion ruler work live, it's keeping up with me, right? I joke, I joke, but you, you know what I mean? You don't have to be a total whiz at it. That's the thing that's great. When you don't have the stitch regulator, it kind of tells on you. It kind of goes, you're, you, you're not that great at staying the same speed. It really shines a light on uh, how many machines can we trade in? Bring them all in. <laughs> you can trade as many machines as you want in. Um, ask Donna. She traded two machines in, right, Donna? Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Um, let us know what machines you have and we can work something out for sure. Um, Trade-ins are always welcome um, because there's always someone that we can pass your great machine on to that maybe is just getting started. Um, while you're in a different spot on your um, sewing journey, someone else might benefit from being able to get a great deal on the machine that you trade in. So there's always something to be done. Okay, now I'm gonna try it again. And keep in mind, watch how fast or slow I'm going because if I was doing this, I should really switch back to the other foot after um, with the ruler and just show you how terrible it would look. <laughs> All right, slowly, slow to start. And then up I go. And right here is where I kind of have to stop and readjust my hands, but the machine just, oh, sorry, I'm blocking but the machine just kind of stays steady where it is. And then when I'm ready, it's ready. And so even though I'm going pretty slow here, it stops and starts and goes with my speed. And now I could travel over and do another version of this, but I'm too scared. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Donna says she doesn't regret trading them in for the M17. Yes, Donna got the M17, which is the beautiful, big, comes also with the stitch regulator um, and the big embroidery unit and that giant hoop, beautiful machine. She's doing some absolutely beautiful, beautiful work 
Um, and I just want to let you guys know, we're going to have a place for you guys to, we're going to show off some of your work in the fall. We're working on a weekly live show. It's going to start in September and there's going to be a segment of that, that we're going to broadcast out. It's going to be all the stuff, the homemade by you. Um, because we, you guys are just doing amazing stuff. Lots of you are posting in the group, uh, the homemade with Jennifer Tryon group. We love seeing your stuff there. So you can continue posting it there. And lots of people are coming into the shop with things that they've made and doing a little show and tell. And we're going to take photos of you when you come into the shop with your show and tell. And we're going to show them on that weekly live. Could we use the stitch regulator on the cutie frame? So that's a question that's just up here. And this is something that when the dealers and I were all together um, looking at the new machine, we were asking, can we use this on the cutie frame? Now this, the M8 has exactly the same dimensions as the M7. And so yes, I have had the M7 on my cutie frame. It fits. I'm free motioning with it. So it stands to reason that yes, you will be able to use the stitch regulator on your cutie frame because you're just free motion quilting like you would be. Um, and it does fit on that cutie frame bed. Now I did have to spread those little stoppers like to the farthest, farthest they could possibly go. But because that uh, M7 is so heavy, uh, has such great weight, it was beautiful on the cutie frame. And then of course you can take advantage of the entire um, work surface with that 13.5 inches of throat space. So we'll show you again, the new machines that um, Janome was nice enough to offer uh, the deal. This is a new continental M8. The M6, I'll tell you, is a lot like the M7. Um, a little, a few, some fewer, like some smaller differences, nothing too, too major. Um, but the M8 is what's going to come with that accurate stitch regulator. And so if anyone needs any information, please come visit us at Homemade um, because we would love for you to have a little try. And then, of course, there's another fleet of new machines, and it's the 9400 series is including now the 9480 QDC. Um, this one is going to have the optional stitch regulator. I mean, it comes with like it, you have the ability, so you may as well get it in there. And then the new 9410. Um, and, you know, you can't really see on this picture, but that uh, plate on the front is kind of pink. I know, Amanda at the side is going, what? I didn't know. Yeah, very cute. So it's silver and there's like a pinky, rosy kind of lilac-y color. Is there a price for the M8 yet? Um, reach out to us. Amanda put our, um, it's against the rules to say the prices. I'm just going to be straight out honest with you. Not allowed. Um, and it's because they want people to visit their local dealers or buy from people um, that they trust, that they know, like us. Thank you. Um, and, and so they don't want just like the internet people just, you know, going anywhere. They want you to go where you usually go. And, and so reach out to us, Amanda, put the email in there, or of course, come and visit us. We love seeing you guys in person. Um, what else should I do? Should I keep, what time is it? How are we doing? We got like 10 minutes, seven. Oh, the time on this thing, thing says 8.51. <laughs> oh, hmm, random. Okay, I'm gonna do a little more. I'm gonna try a different shape with my ruler. Let's try the heart or, now. Nah, let's try this one. I always love playing with this stuff and it's such a good excuse to get it out. You know, sometimes it's like we do so many projects and we've got like this quilt coming up or this project coming up. You know, what about the playing, Jen? You got into this for the playing. All right, so that first stitch and down we go. If you have any questions, shoot them out. There's no stitch regulator for the 6650. However, if you have, ooh, look at this. Oh my gosh, I'm so good. Look at this. Hold on, you guys. Sorry, I'm blocking with my hand. <laughs> one minute, I was a, one minute ago, I was a sausage fingered buffoon, and now I'm just like doing the teardrops like they're you know easy peasy. I'm doing this again. I'm gonna make them intersect. Now I am a free motion quilter, you guys. I've just hit the jackpot of inspiration. Doesn't take long. All right, press her foot down. I'm gonna line it up with the line again. Let's see what I can do. All right. Okay. 
Sorry, I'm going to try to move that hand so you can see. <laughs> wow! Amanda, yeah. we're so good! You can flip the ruler around without even lifting up the foot. What? To another spot. Where? I think I'd have to take out the little, there's a little puzzle piece which I could oh, do that with. Okay. I'm going to push it over. Let's go one more. Yeah, this is very cool. You know, rulers are really fun and I would suggest, like what I'm doing here, before you bring it to your, you know, the, the quilt that you've pieced for a year. <laughs> um, Take it to a scrap sandwich, like just do a little quilt sandwich like I've done here. Doesn't matter what's on the front, it can be your old fabric that you're not using. Just make up a little quilt sandwich and test it out. Okay, so Kathy is doing a little summary for us here. Let's see if she's on the money. Uh, Kathy's saying, so in summary, you can't randomly buy the stitch regular rater, regulator for any machine. The new machines are adding the bonus piece only. Uh, so we got to trade up. Yes, basically that's true. You have to trade up. It's because the stitch regulator with that laser and you know how you have to plug it in here, the machine has to have that port for it to plug into and it has to have the computerization like to know how to stop and start. So some of the machines, um, you know, in different levels, you know, like the 6650, for example, love that machine for sure. Um, but it doesn't have that already built in. Um, but that's a beautiful machine. You know, you can, you know, still use it or you could trade it in. Um, we could definitely take a trade on the 6650 for, for the M8, no problem. You know, it's also a really great time to get an M7. If the stitch regulator, you're like, meh, I don't care, you know, whatever. But you have been eyeing the M7, because the new M8s are out, We've got great deals on M7s. So if you're interested in the M7 because the stitch regulator, nah, I'm never going to use, you know, I'm not, I, I'm not interested in free motion quilting, but I still would love that throat space for straight line quilting, for piecing or bag making. That's a beautiful machine. And until last weekend, we thought was the only and best one, right? So, you know, they're always coming out with something new, but it also means you can get a really amazing deal on the thing that you were eyeing before that, you know, suddenly the experts will say, well, that's obsolete. No, it's not at all. It's still an amazingly great machine, right? So if you've been eyeing that one for years, it could be a great time to trade in or trade up and get that 13.5 inches of throat space. And yeah, okay, I'm gonna, I gotta show you guys this because, well, I'm just a whiz now. <laughs> Look. Now, if I just kept going, 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 and what's great is all the stitches, same size, same size. So that's kind of cool. You know, before we're kind of getting stitches like all kinds of random lengths. And, you know, it really is telling when you kind of have an, a stitch that's like half an inch long <laughs> and then some stitches that are like a millimeter. Um, you don't want that on the beautiful quilt that you've, uh, spent so much time piecing. So, you know, something to think about, something to think about for sure. You know, when there's upgrades like this, you know, you can get pretty good deals if you pre-order it first, um, because they want to make sure they're bringing in enough for, for the people. That's what they explained to us at this meeting that we all went to, um, which is why they were able to give us some, you know, very good, uh, pre-order pricing. And, uh, first, or be first to get one of the 9480s, then let us know because you won't have to wait. We've had already half a handful of people already pre-order it. So we know you got, and we know some of you are, are interested in it. So if you want to get on the list, once October hits and they get to the stores, that's when there will be sort of like the backlog. Um, but if you get in on the first shipment, that's usually if you're if you're dying to have it, or like I said, if you're like now's the time to get the M7. Um, yeah, that's a, that's a, it's a great time to get the M7. You know, it's like I bought the iPhone 13 when the iPhone 14 came out because, you know, that's what you did. Yeah. Because, you know, um, that's when you can get a good deal on something that's still amazing. So, yeah. 
Well, listen, I hope this has helped explain a little bit about the ASR, the Accurate Stitch Regulator. Um, if there's, are we still on? Because I'm not seeing the questions anymore. Um, if you have any more questions, oh, they're there. Um, let's go back. Is there any other questions we missed? No. So if anyone has anything else, reach out to us. Um, that way we can get back to you uh, personally. I also sent an email around. If you're on our email list, you can put your name on uh, the email to, to get the pricing. And especially if you have a trade-in, you can even just call us at the shop if you have a trade-in, we can talk it out. Usually what we need if you have a trade-in is your serial number of your machine uh, and then make a model. And then we can look it up and um, figure out what your trade-in value is. But yeah. Well, should I keep going or should we say good night? I guess we should say good night. I, I showed you what I needed to show you. That's, uh, I mean, I kind of could sit and, and play a little longer if everyone's kind of willing to hang in here. What should we do? Um, I appreciate you. Is that the only feature on this new machine? Uh, no, there's, hold on. I should have had this in front of me. There's a couple of new features. Um, similar to the, I mean, I have a, I have a folder <laughs> similar to the M17 there on the new M8, there is what's called the thumb wheel and the thumb wheel is watch this. Can you see that? You don't have to go all, cause the throat space is so wide. You guys, okay. Look where I am right here in front of the machine. Look at how far, look at my hand, like has to go way over here to rotate that hand wheel. With the new M8, you're going to have that thumb wheel, which means you can put the needle down right at your fingertips here. They call it a thumb wheel. Yeah. Isn't that so fun? That's the other mega feature that's, Amanda's just going, uh, you didn't know that? <laughs> yeah. That's the other, uh new feature that's going to be on the M8. Let me look at some, there's a whole, there's a whole like long feature sheet. Um, and some of them are nuanced and, and things like that. But this thumb wheel um, is the other one that's kind of a, like a very cool feature that, you know, when you graduate up to certain levels of machines, there's things that you don't want to live without anymore. For example, usually first it's the thread cutter, the little scissor button can't live without that anymore. Then maybe one day you get a machine that has the automatic um, presser foot down up. Um, and then the thumb wheel is like one of those other ones where you're, you're just using it with your thumb. Um, what are the new decorative stitches there? How many, let me just see how many stitches there are actually in here. The, if there's so the feature sheet is so long, you guys. I want to guess there is 300 plus stitches and the M8 is coming with the stitches that will taper um, the Mirage stitches it's going to come with. Um, very similar to what's programmed into the M17 um, is going to be into the uh, new M8. So if you, um, and, and you can read all about this online. In fact, we can, we can post a, a link. Yeah. The Mirage stitches, Michael does the most beautiful demo. I'm sure he, Michael, did you do one of your Instagram lives on the Mirage stitches? I think, and it basically just allows you, well, honestly watch Michael's um, videos because he's beautiful at explaining the Mirage stitches, but it's a whole other rabbit hole, especially if you want to get into like almost designing your own fabric. It looks like embroidery. The stitches kind of like fade in and out. It's beautiful. Um, yeah, Mirage stitches. That'll be a, a big new feature on the M8. Um, of course, it's coming with the extension table, which is great. The new M8. Um, yeah, Michael did uh, it in the Janome Continental Club Facebook Live. So if you haven't joined any of the Janome groups, um, that's a really great place for lots of info. Um, there's the Continental Club where it talks all about the M7 and the, and the M17. Of course, the M8 and the M6 will join that um, in October. And yeah, lots and lots of, of resources there. <sighs> what else? I'm glad I got to mention the thumb wheel. That's good. Um, 
Oh, the tapering function. That's another one. Um, the tapering function allows you to um, have a stitch taper away down to nothing. So you're not just ending a stitch like whammo. Instead, it tapers it down. Um, that's a very good, uh, that's a great uh, a function. Um, it does say it's going to come with the enhanced needle threader. I want to see what that <laughs> I want to see what that means. The needle threaders are always finicky on no matter what machine, no matter what brand. Uh, yeah, are all of the same feet included in the M8? It's going to have this gorgeous box full of all of the feet. Yes, uh, including some different um, bobbin casing, uh, bobbin casings uh, for all kinds of different things compared to the feet included in the M7. There are some extra feet in the M8. Uh, but the M7 comes with tons of feet also. Let me just see if I can find the actual. So with the M8, it's going to be 450 built-in stitches. So the 450 stitches, it's faster, 1,300 stitches per minute. Uh, the enhanced needle threader, the thumb wheel, um, you're going to have 12 uh, buttonholes. Uh, the straight stitch needle plate um, with the left needle position for the quarter inch seam. So the straight stitch needle plate is going to be included. Of course, the seven piece feed dogs, um, the on-screen sewing support. So that's very cool. Um, you're going to have access to the AccuSpark 2 app. Um, auto tension. Auto a lot of things come on the M7 too that, you know, some of these features, I feel like um, even though they're not totally new to the M8. If you haven't stitched with the M7, like you're going to be completely blown away. Um, <laughs> I'm, you better use every stitch, Amanda Brown says. All 450. I know I, we mostly sew straight, let's be honest. But it, you know, those times come when you're like, you know what, maybe I will use it. And then you're glad you have it. You always want a machine that you can um, grow into. Uh, a bit more. The other thing that's enhanced on um, the new M8 is the lighting. Same with the 98, uh, or sorry, the 9480. It, like the 9450, has the light that the extra LED light that will pull out from the machine, which is very cool. <laughs> Stitch Bible class galore, for sure, for sure. Um, let me see what else. Improved ergonomic knee lift bar. Yes. Uh, you'll have the external thread cutter. So on your presser foot, you can press the button um, for the thread. But I mean, look at the info. This is like impossible to just read out to you guys. But you know what? If you want the entire breakdown, everything that I've got in front of me here, we can email it to you or send you a link so that you can really do your own like deep dive reading into the new uh, machines. But the M7 lighting is great. She's so excited to see the new lights. She's getting old. Yeah, Amanda, we're all getting old for sure. Uh, what's great is on that new um, 9480, that extra light that comes out is great. And the lighting can't be beat on the Continental Series machines. There's those two new, uh, the 9480 and the 9410. Um, the 90, those are like, to be honest, there's a significant difference in pricing between those two machines. One of them is a lot lower. Um, so if you're looking for an upgrade and you don't need you don't need the stitch regulator, that machine that's on the right is gorgeous and not gonna break the bank. Um, and then the machine on the left, also a very good option for getting the stitch regulator without having the gigantic M8. Like maybe you just don't have room for that. Um, <laughs> it looks like Kathy's LOL at Amanda Brown. That looks like her actual email address. You can just reach Amanda Brown at LOL at Amanda Brown. No, just kidding. That's funny. Oh, well, listen, Amanda, you just caught us at the very end. We've already done our ruler work. I'm already uh, a stitch regulating ruler work genius because look what I did. Um, I put managed to put all these three together, which is uh, kind of good for me, you know. I'm, I'm not a whiz on the rulers. I, I have, I don't claim to have done much. Oh, Amanda was at hockey. Um, my kids are at camp this week, you guys. Yeah, all week. I know. So that's why I'm just sitting here rambling on because I have nowhere to be. <laughs> no one needs me to come home. Well, maybe Mike does. <laughs> he's, he's probably watching going like, hey, 
Come on. Anyway. Oh, was he? Oh, hi, Mike. Um, all right. I will say goodbye because I've been trying to say goodbye for the last 15 minutes and then I just keep rambling on. So anyway, um, thank you so much for tuning in, everybody. If you have any other questions um, or if anyone is just tuning in late and has a quick question before we sign off or needs to see anything again, um, you can let me know. I don't mind going through it because, like I said, I have nowhere to be. Um, but otherwise... <laughs> otherwise i'll say good night and you can reach out to us amanda's just putting in how you can reach out to us of course we'll go back through the comments here and um if we need to get back to anyone through that we can do that too all right thanks so much for tuning in everybody remember the acronym is asr accurate stitch regulator and it's coming on the new m8 and it's option on the new 9480 9480 gosh these numbers all right night night everybody